Hey everyone, my name is James, and welcome back to Chippy's Count. So today, we're back for uh, another round of the summoning adventure. Now, I'm really excited about today's episode. We've got a pretty big upgrade that we're going to make, and it's also an upgrade that I didn't even know was in the Calamity mod. So, in case you didn't see the last episode, we spent a good bit of time at the end of the episode trying to make a brand new set of armor that wasn't actually relevant to us. It was a, a mage set of armor. Maybe the mage part of my brain was like, right, James, this is exactly what you need. Um, but there is actually an upgrade that we can make as a summoner that looks really cool. And like I said, I didn't even know that this armor was in the Calamity mod. So this will be my, my very first time using it. And I learned of it because of you guys. It's called the Fathom Swarmer. Let's take a little look at it. So this is a direct upgrade to the spider armor. So it was worth making the spider armor. It's funny because when I made it, I was kind of like, I don't know about this because Calamity never seems to use vanilla armors. Well, it's paid off. It's paid off big. Um, so here it is. It's the Fathom Swarmer set. And to make it, we're going to need the spider armor, some Victide bars, which we can probably craft and then a bunch of stuff from the Abyss. So today's episode, we'll probably start off in the Abyss, but more excitedly, we also have another boss to do today. So today's boss is gonna be Plantera. Now, immediately after filming the last episode, I went and built out our Plantera Arena, mainly because building the Plantera Arena is one of my least favorite things to do in Terraria. So it's always a pretty salty episode. So I just thought, let's cut the salt, let's keep it clean. I've got an arena, we're good to go. Now, like I said yesterday, if you enjoyed today's episode, and by chance you are new, subscribe today. Join Chippy's Couch, join the Couch Gang, and also don't forget to give the video a big fat thumbs up. All right, let's 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 slap a Duracell on this bad boy. Let's get to work. We've got some grinding to do. Yeah, we're just gonna, we're just gonna basically go to the abyss. Um, so that's gonna require basically some, some potions. You know, we've gotta be able to breathe down there. Now, I'm fairly certain one of the uh, lore pieces that we had, it might have been the Aquatic Scourge, um, did it, it had something that would help you with the Abyss, or it might have actually just been this. Most ocean enemies become friendly and provides water breathing. Uh, being underwater slowly boosts your defense over time. The maximum defense boost is 30. Provides a small amount of the light in the Abyss and moderately reduces breath loss in the Abyss. So that's already fairly decent, so we'll grab that. Do I not have the the law one for the aquatic scourge? I mean, to be honest, I could have easily have left it behind. Let me just search the word scourge. Let me just do a double check. Oh, it is here. This is a desert scourge. <laughs> All right, that makes sense. I've only really just realized because I know that the desert scourge is like a dehydrated boss. Is the aquatic scourge meant to be the, the rehydrated one? Is it like the pizza in uh, Back to the Future? A few little droplets of water. You got a whole new meal. Um, so let's grab some shiny boys. Let's grab some night owl. Let's grab some flippers. We'll also grab some gills. And that is probably pretty much it. I don't imagine this is going to be a very like... I don't know. This should be fairly easy, right? It's just going to be diving down, grabbing some loot, diving back up again. We'll buff up anyway. We'll grab a bunch of lasers, which I absolutely love. I'm kind of hoping that we have to use the lasers for... Um, for the Plantera fight, because it's so good. Okay, right. What did we need? That's sandstone. I'm, I'm, we need mush, and we need, like, gravel, or something like that. This all should be pretty easy to get. But I think what the, the lore was meant to do is, uh, is negate the poisoning effect, something like that. Let's see. Can we grab this now? What is this? All right, that's something for later. But I know that the mush is this stuff over here. Oh no, that's Tenebris. But some of it is mush. Honestly, I've got no idea. This this is, for me, every, oh my God, Christ. Why is that hurting so bad? For me, every single time, oh, it might be the gravel. <laughs> Stop. Stop. Yeah, for me, every single time I come here, I basically just grab what I need really quickly and just bail. Like it's, it's not a full on expedition for me. I, I really don't know what to grab. This looks like mush down here. I probably shouldn't have got the uh, Tesla potion. The Tesla potion is kind of messing me up a little bit. All right, uh, that should be enough. I'll just be honest with you. I don't exactly remember how much we need. 
I am completely winging it, right? All I had to do today was take a little look on the Wikipedia page, be like, that's what I need. And that's as far as it went. All right, Swarmer. So this needs 10 and this needs... Oh, wait, I didn't get the gravel. Oh, the gravel's here. Oh, we also didn't get the depth cells. All right, they <laughs> they're probably very important. Okay, uh, so I guess I go back and go get some depth cells. I think you need to go pretty far down to get the depth cells. So I know that this is um, it's a little bit disappointing, right? Because I don't feel very good about this. But I have to get rid of the Christmas tree. I don't know why, but whenever I see them, I'm just like, nah, it's, it's not Christmas. They've got to come down. <laughs> the festive spirit is gone, right? Santa's dead for now. So it seems like you don't actually have to go um, that low. I thought you had to go pretty much to the bottom. Uh, that's not the case. You just basically just have to to kill what's about. Summons, are you all right? Do you want to... There we go. Thanks. <laughs> I was like, do you want to target this dude? You know? He might have been behind a block. I honestly don't know. It's so dark. Once again, I didn't close the curtains. <laughs> so I'm just... I'm forever blind in this room. Ooh, look. It's one of those giant squids. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, Christ. <laughs> I'm getting out of there. Oh my god. For a second I thought, do you know what? I might be able to survive the giant squid and it starts moving like that. Wow. I really like how it moves. That actually felt intimidating, as it should, you know? Being underwater, it's incredibly scary. I, I would think. You know, there's so much down there. We don't even really know what's down there in the deep depths of the ocean. What if it's a big uh, squiddy diddy, you know? What are you going to do? All right. Um, big tide bars. Let's craft as many as possible. This is actually not so bad. I was going to say, we'll probably have to go to the uh, to the ocean at some point to go get some stuff. Might have to go get seashells, to be fair. All right. So, uh, we can make the greaves straight off the bat. So, we'll do that. Bam. Um, and then we now can't make the other two. What's the reason? Oh, it's the, it's the big tide bars. All right. Surprised you, you can't just buy those, to be honest. There is what is the boss that gives you stuff for the Victide bars? Is it the Aquatic Scourge? It might actually be. I tell you what I'm going to do though. I'm going to go to my uh, regular old ocean and just see what little bits and, and bobs we can grab. Because I'm pretty sure, actually, now thinking about it now, I'm pretty sure I used the majority of the um, the stuff you would use on Victide bars to make the um, summons for the Aquatic Scourge. So that's probably why we're not getting too much. The seashells grow back. I can see here that coral does, but I don't know if seashells do. They must, right? Otherwise, how are you... Otherwise, it's like a finite resource. And from everything I've learned about David Attenborough recently, that's not that's not great. <laughs> Where are they? Do I actually not have any seashells? Really? Oh, I don't. I might actually have to... Um... I might have to fight the Aquatic Scourge or something. Or, or is it the Desert Scourge that gives you them? Let me quickly check. What is it to, to summon the, the Desert Scourge? I can't believe I'm saying this at this point. All right, so it's the Medallion. All right, Medallion. Can I... I can't even make one. Oh, because I need a Demon Altar. God, what is the item? <laughs> the Cryonic Bar in there. Oh, God. I can't remember what is the item that you need to get to be a Demon Altar. Is it the... Do we have a wizard? Is it the Crystal Ball? It might actually be the crystal ball. I know that there is something that unlocks it. And the crystal ball sounds really familiar. So let's let's quickly double check that theory. I feel like this episode has taken a bit of a, <laughs> a weird turn. It's more just me trying to figure out crafting recipes at this point. I thought it would be all about our little fishy adventure. Not quite. Um, all right. So let's dump that in there. Let's see. Medallion. No, it's not. Oh, man. I just want a demon auto. Can I craft one? Demon altar. Well, actually, maybe the word is altar. Artificial altar. And this is from the alchemist NPC. All right. We'll give this a go. All right. I'm getting uh, forms and battle potions. We're going to slap those in here. And we're going to see if that can make us the, uh, the altar. The fake altar. Altar. <laughs> no? No? Required objects, a demon altar. Christ, are you for real? <laughs> Come on. Nobody <laughs> nobody wants to do that. Right, so if this doesn't work how I want it to work, I am going to be absolutely gutted. <laughs> this is such a weird sprite. <laughs> it looks like, um, 
it looks like something out of Super Meat Boy, or it looks like um, a crab, like a weird, a really weird triangular crab. All right, let's let's dump that in there. Okay, let's see. Hallelujah, hallelujah! All that effort, thank God. <laughs> that was way too much effort for not really anything important. But that's okay. It's going to be worth it when we have um, our new amazing new and amazing thing okay right let's go to the desert let's see the uh, speed kill on this one oh actually do you know what it's not as quick as i would have thought i'm assuming that they buffed it in hard mode or at least you would hope so right <laughs> okay let's open this up yeah there we go all right now we got the big tide bars now we can do this what a detour what an absolute detour I should have done this in Armageddon mode, to be honest. It would have been good for, for the Moolah. But at least now I know that I'll never have to do this again. I'll have as, as much Victide as I'll ever need. I'll be rich from it, actually. I'm going to go into the Victide business. Hey, I tell you what. Look at this. These treasures make you so much money. That is really cool. Um, I guess I'm going to sell the potions. Because I know me. I probably won't dip into the, to the chest to go get them. Um, but look at that. I've made a plat. Everyone was like, James, you need to start farming for the moolah. I I've got the moolah. <laughs> Everything's good. All right. Well, it's a little bit more moolah. We still need more moolah. We'll forever need more moolah. Um, okay, right. Oh, no, my, my waifu. I need to, to get that back. All right. First off, let's get the waifu back. What's it called? Um, I actually can't remember the name of it. <laughs> Where is it? Oh, there you go. It's the eye of eye of the storm. All right, we can we can deposit that back again. All right, we won't need that for a little while. Okay, Victide bars. Let's make a bunch of these. Thirty bars. Come on, if it needs any more than that, it's it's not worth it. All right, so here is the headpiece. This is the Fathom Swarmer visage or visage. Christ, is it really that bad? No, no. All right, <laughs> we need um. What do we need? I'm really confused why we can't make this. Um, so we've got that. We've got that. Um, it only needs five of these. Oh, it needs 18. 18 gravel. All right, we need to go get gravel. All right, let's slap this into here. Man, late game calamity be like, go get some more gravel. <laughs> Swarmer. All right, here we go. Bam. Oh, I'm so excited, though. Like, it was... Even though it was a bit of a nuisance to get, it was worth every second. Because it's very rare that I get to see something, like, completely new in Calamity. All right. So what do we get from this um, from this set? So this part provides breathing and light underwater. That's really cool. Uh, we got the Fathom Swarmer Breastplate. This does 12% damage reduction, 6% increased minion damage, and plus one maximum minion. Boosts defense and regen while submerged in liquid. And reduces defense loss within the abyss. All right. Uh, this gives 4% increased minion damage, grants the ability to swim, and speed is greatly increased when submerged in liquid. I don't know what... I don't know, like, what do you, what do you expect people to be doing with these armors? <laughs> do you know what it's like? Oh, it gives you loads of um, advantages for being in liquid. Why are we going to be in liquid? All right. Terraria is, like, 98% out of liquid. <laughs> but anyway, uh, we're on 42 defense. Swap it over. We now have 52... We look amazing, um, but I wonder what the set bonus actually is. So the set bonus is 10% increased minion damage and one extra max minion. Grants the ability to climb walls, 30% increased minion damage while submerged in liquid, all right, but we're never in liquid, and provides a moderate amount of light and moderately reduced breath loss in the abyss. So I guess this is just really good if you really, really like the abyss, which I don't really, really care about, but there it is. I like it. Kind of looks like a, a scary fish. Let's slap that back on. We're looking good. I don't know what the the really like Vanta Black coattail is all about. <laughs> it's a little too edgy for me. So my prediction for this fight is that I think honestly, it's going to be fairly easy. I think. So the the thing I was trying to like hammer in with the title about this yesterday is that I really do feel like these might actually be too powerful. For this point in the game because when i think about it like beating uh, calamitous first try it's pretty that makes them pretty intense right but i think it's just because i'm so used to playing summoner so far where all the ai is kind of awful so to have something that's so precise and so consistent seems a little bit odd 
But I feel like that is going to make Plantera extremely easy because we're not going to have to rely on summons to uh, focus where we want them to focus. Because either way, if it starts aiming for the middle of the fight, it's going to get the middle of the fight. Do you know, well, do you know what I mean? Like, do you know in the second phase where you've got to be really careful because, you know, it's got all the little bits hanging off of it? We're not going to really have to worry about that because if it's hitting the bits, we're still going to be fine. <laughs> but there you go. All right, that's my prediction. Let's see what happens though, right? Reality and, and everything else is often very different with Calamity. Okay, right. So, there have been confirmation about the Rod of Discord or more further discussion. So, there is... Everyone agrees that holding out a tool... Um, doesn't lose you damage, but the thing is, you actually gain damage from holding the uh, the summoning weapon that you're going to use. So that's a very big point of it. So what happens is, if you hold the rod of discord, you neither gain nor lose damage. So it's still better to hold the weapon because you gain like 10% extra damage or whatever it is. So that's where it currently stands. So I think there was probably a wing upgrade that we can make. I don't know which one. We had a, a top comment yesterday that was like, oh, you should make the wings that are relevant to your armor. But I don't know if that meant um, the armor that we were currently wearing or the armor that they knew we would go to in the next episode. <laughs> so I'm like, oh no, I can't use your information because <laughs> like my smooth brain can't, can't understand. It. So what's going on with this fight? We've got these spiky balls at the bottom. They're, they're, they're a regular. But they seem to be a little, like, astral. A little ghostly. Um, I would say, like, the damage actually isn't as much as I was expecting, to be honest. I kind of expected higher damage. Uh, I feel like my prediction about these being a little bit too powerful for this point in the game might actually be completely false. Especially considering we're using brand new armor. But this is the part where I really thought it would shine, is, uh, is this phase. Oh my god, we got adrenaline. I did not expect to get adrenaline. I'm really glad we got that because I literally almost missed it by a second. All right, let's go over here. Okay, let's just keep this flowing. We want to stay out of the way of the clouds. God, the clouds remind me of the yo-yo that inspired the yo-yo series. I can't remember the name of it off the top of my head. It might be... Oh, no, it's, I think it's called the Quagmire. But the Quagmire yo-yo that fires out the green spores. Oh, my God. Legendary and very iconic. All right, let's go over here. So we might actually get a second dose of adrenaline if we're really good. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Look at that health. Look at that health. It's just gone. All right, let's 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 not get ahead of ourselves. Oh, no. We're getting ahead of ourselves. Oh, my Christ. I can't believe I messed that up. Oh, no. Oh, it was such a good fight. It was so strong. It was so, so strong. I was looking at the health bar just thinking, oh, I'll just be over in a sec. I can relax. Oh, no. That's actually tragic. <laughs> I can't believe that. Oh, I'm so good. Let me get a, um... <laughs> oh, no. All right, let me get a Spelunk Potion out. We'll just get another one and just redo it. Oh, my God, though. I cannot believe that actually happened to us. The good thing is there is so many, um... So many bits of, uh, plantera bulbs around. Oh, my God. I'm actually so good. It. <laughs> so, uh, I do feel like, uh, just in, like, the recent few days, I haven't had, uh, too much to say about just, like, like what I'm up to. And I think it really is because in January, uh, nothing is going on ever for me. And also, uh, England is in, in full lockdown now. So I guess for me, you know, life is, is pretty boring right now. I guess the only thing I'm, I'm actually looking forward to, to be real with you, is the, the fact that... So England went into this full lockdown with the, the promise, which is never a good like, idea, but it's whatever, right? The promise that uh, the certain group of people that need the vaccine will actually have the vaccine by my birthday, which is the 16th of February. So people that are like over 80 or people that have like vulnerable medical issues, people that work in hospitals and also people that live in care homes. Now, the reason I'm bringing this up is because for me, during out like throughout the pandemic, the only thing I've actually ever been worried about, oh my God, there's a new structure. I'm assuming it's just a, a, a reimagined one of the one that we already have. So maybe we'll check that out tomorrow. Um, but yeah, the, the thing that's worried me the whole time is obviously, and I spoke about this at the start, is my mum is a survivor of lung cancer. So obviously with a respiratory disease going around, it's, it's worried me extremely, you know, over the past couple of months. 
But the good thing is, is like knowing that she's eligible for this vaccine or whatever before my birthday. So it's only a couple of weeks. I, it puts my mind at ease so much. So I guess that's the, the only thing I'm really thinking about right now. To just be completely real and level with all of you. That's kind of my, my thought process. It consumed a lot of my thoughts. I'm just like, alright. Get this woman, get this woman dosed up. <laughs> get that needle. Jab it in her. <laughs> oh god, I can't wait. I Honestly, if I get off of that, I'm taking it. <laughs> I really hate the flu. <laughs> I really hate the flu. And the idea of a worse flu, I can't think of anything worse. I'm not a vulnerable person, but I also really do hate the flu. <laughs> I really, really hate the flu. Alright, here's my adrenaline. Come on, let's get it. Let's do it. All right, we're not losing this one. We're not. Not after the, the shame of the last one. <laughs> we have to win. It's got to be done. Okay, so so far, really strong fight. It's it, This one just seems very... It's just going very well. Which I'm, I'm kind of surprised at. Because I kind of assumed that this one would be a little bit harder. Usually, weirdly, my first attempt at a lot of boss fights are actually a little bit better. And I think it's because I entered this, like mode of zen and then the second time i'm doing it i'm thinking about too much i'm thinking about like all right well we did this last time and this really helped or whatever so it's it's a little bit odd now we do have to be careful with our rod of discords because uh they are actually required it seems for us it seems like because of our limited amount of health which we traded for more minions oh god oh god all right oh no okay all right sorry i, I wanted to talk and then i, I actually got a little bit panicked <laughs> Okay, right. Let's just be careful. Let's just be careful. Right, we want the adrenaline, so we'll take it at any cost. And there we go, there's our adrenaline. But it now means that we can't run a Discord for a couple more seconds. Come on, focus the right thing. <laughs> Come on. Alright, no way we're losing this one. No way. I won't have it. <laughs> Even if it turns into a completely different boss in the last five seconds, I'm not allowing it. We are going to win. Oh, God, Christ. Let's not... Oh, there we go. There we go. <laughs> I was not going to let it defeat me one more time. Amazing. We got a, a tier three paper tube. These paper tubes are actually pretty decent. I am actually enjoying them. Here's the thing. I did actually mine a fair bit of chlorophyte, uh, and I haven't actually made anything with it yet. So if you know any good chlorophyte items, do let me know. Maybe we can incorporate that into tomorrow's episode. I imagine we've also got some upgrades that we need to make at a certain point as well. And I imagine that point is probably coming up. Oh, that was it. Everybody recommended me upgrading my scarf to the... What's it called? Yeah, the evasion scarf. Wow. <laughs> I am actually so sorry. <laughs> Considering how easy that is to make, I feel very awful about it. Uh, do we actually have any cloth, though? That's a good point. Um, what's it, is it called cloth? I don't know why I'm struggling with this. It's called silk. My mind was like, oh no, it's called silk. Don't say it, but it's, I don't know. All right, we can't make silk, but I imagine we probably have a loom. Yep, we have a loom. I'd be very surprised if we didn't have cobwebs in here. All right, let's get rid of the uh, the ice machine for now. Let's get some silk on the go. What was it, 15? Okay, let's slap that in there. Let's make the evasion scarf. Nice. Thank you very much. I don't actually know what it does. So, true melee strikes deal 25% more damage. Grants the ability to dash. Uh, after a dodge, you'll be granted a buff to all damage, melee speed, and crit chance for a short time. This cooldown will be 50% longer if you have the chaos state. All right. Okay, cool. So, let's bosh this in here. And this is the final upgrade. Wow, I really should have made that a while ago. <laughs> I should have been like an episode 25 kind of deal. Okay, so let's open this up. Bam. Wow, that was very unsatisfying. <laughs> so we got the axe, which is amazing. Very happy about that. It's just a cool item. We got the seedler, which we don't particularly need. We also got the camouflage spore sack. Now, did I pick up the... Um, I don't think I did. Oh, living shards. So we will probably have to do this fight again, mainly because the living shards are so good. So I don't think I picked up the, uh, the law, so I'm going to go grab that real quick. Ah, there we go. Here it is. Plantera lore. Well done. You killed a plant. It was used as a vessel to house the spirits of those unfortunate enough to find their way down here. 
I wish you luck in dealing with the fallout. Favorite this item to gain an increased grab range. That is a pretty legit item. Thank you very much. Right, so I think for today, that uh, that rounds up the uh, the episode. As always, thank you so much for watching, and thank you for giving it a big fat thumbs up. Uh, yesterday, we had more thumbs up than, uh, than in ages, and I really appreciate it. Thank you. It really does help out the channel. Even though we now have, like... I think somebody last commented and said it was, like, 380,000 subscribers. Even though we have that many subscribers, without, like constant feeding of the algorithm it, it it gets weird on youtube very quickly so i'm really grateful for the support as always as well thank you to our channel members crawling by on screen right now really appreciate it but for today guys i think that is it have a fantastic day and i'll see you in the next one peace